Hi, my name is Sharon Rojo, and I'm Senior Clinical Education Specialist for Healthmark Industries. Today we're going to go over the EndoProCam. Designed for evaluating the condition of rigid, semi-rigid, and flexible endoscopes without lumens, the EndoProCam acts as a portable video tower, and it can be used as a proactive approach to inspecting for damage and debris. The EndoProCam can help you meet the ANSI AMI SC79 Amendment 2 that states enhanced inspection with magnification, bore scopes, or other inspection methods to verify the cleanliness and integrity may be used. When you receive your EndoProCam from Healthmark, you will receive it in a carrying case with all of the items inside. The EndoProCam comes with a stand, the EndoProCam itself, the coupler, a rechargeable battery for the EndoProCam, the light source with the rechargeable battery inside. You also receive an extra battery for the EndoProCam with its charger. For the light source, an extra battery and its charger as well. The HDMI cable, and you also have the SD card as well as a test pattern. Before we go into the details of all the items in your EndoProCam case, let's go over the basic simple steps for setting up a rigid scope. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to insert the rechargeable battery. As you can see here, it says insert side up. Simply place it inside your EndoProCam and it starts up automatically. The next step is you're going to insert the coupler into the EndoProCam itself. You simply screw in this piece, snug, not tight. And then the next step is you're going to place it on your stand. You're going to take your coupler, open it up on both sides, insert your rigid scope, shake the scope a little bit to make sure it's secure, making sure there's an adapter on your rigid scope, and you're going to simply screw in after you remove the cap off your light source, and you're going to insert the light source into the scope itself. On the bottom is a button. Click once, and you can see the light is on. For ease of use, we suggest to put the test pattern onto the holder itself. Now that you have your scope hooked up to the EndoProCam, now let's go through the test pattern. What you're looking for is vivid color and clear and concise patterns and numbers. Now we hooked up another rigid scope. And as you can see here, there's damage on the top right, which is a sign of a broken prism. Another type of damage could be when the display is darkened of any kind. This is a prime example of broken light fibers. So let's dive a little bit more into the functionality of the EndoProCam. The first step is you're going to take your SD card and you're going to insert it just like this. Now with the SD card inserted, now you're ready to take pictures and video. Simply click on the picture icon to take a picture. To take a video, simply click the icon for video camera and you can see here it's starting to record. All you have to do to stop it is to click the same icon again. To access the menu for the EndoProCam, simply select OK. This will drop the settings within the unit, and you can now toggle between left and right by using the icon for capture and video, like so. Then you can also escape the menu by clicking Escape. And then to turn off the unit, you simply hold down the power button to turn off. Let's go ahead and go over the anatomy of the battery itself. The first one is the power button. Once you click that, it'll actually show the power level indicator, which will show the remaining battery life. The other piece is going to be the USB output, which connects to the EndoProCam itself. The micro USB input, located here, is used to charge the battery itself. Simply place the distal end of the cord into that USB input, and then the proximal end would be to an outlet to charge. To charge the light source battery, you're going to simply, at the proximal end, unscrew the light source, and you're going to slip out the battery. Then you're going to push back the metal mechanism to making sure that the positive side is towards this proximal end. Simply plug in the unit and the indicator light will go on. The EndoProCam comes with an HDMI cable. This is to make the image bigger onto a TV or monitor. How to do so is you're going to take 
the mini HDMI connection and simply place it into the Indoprochem itself. In the opposite end, you would hook up to a TV or monitor. You can actually review the pictures and videos that you've taken on the Indoprochem itself. But if you'd like to review those pictures or save them on a different device, you can simply click the micro SD card out and you can place this in another device or simply take the micro SD card and place it into the SD adapter. And this can be used for certain devices. If you have striker endoscopes and you want to use them with the EndoProCam, sold separately is a striker adapter. That's a spacer in between the Rigiscope and the EndoProCam itself. You can simply screw it on instead of the coupler and then screw directly your endoscope into the EndoProCam. To have a clearer image, you will need the striker adapter in place. Without it, you'll have a poor quality image. Just to summarize, the EndoProCam really lets you see what the surgical team views. It is really a mini tower in your hands. And this is a proactive approach to ensure that only quality instruments reach the OR. For more information about the EndoProCam, you can visit our website at hmark.com or contact your local HealthMark representative.